Welcome to Royal Brains Executive Kindergarten and Primary School Rocker Compass. We teach, inspire and transform young minds to achieve their fullest potential. We identify, nurture and develop child's individual talents. Register today at Royal Brain School Executive Kindergarten and Primary School Rocker Compass. A unique and executive school where the future begins. Hello once again. Hey, it's good to see you once again. Thank you for logging in early and we continue with our hygiene lesson today. My name is Teacher Elizabeth. Good. Aha. Uh -huh. And in our hygiene lesson today, guess what you are learning about? That thing we take when you are very thirsty. What is that that you take when you're very thirsty, when you're so thirsty? We are going to talk about water. And water, when you talk about water, we have two kinds of water, or two types of water. One is clean water, which is safe for drinking, and we have dirty water. And about dirty water, we are going to learn a new word that talks about dirty water. Very good. So we are going to talk about keeping water safe because imagine you're thirsty and or you're thirsty or you want to cook some chocolate, some tea, and you want to use water, and then you find that the water is dirty. What would you do? Let's continue. So, what is water? I want to tell you what water contamination is, like I've asked. What is water contamination? Remember when you began, I said. We are going to learn a new word that talks about dirty water. And that is the word. Say contamination. Good. Contamination means making water that is clean dirty. Making clean water dirty. So water contamination is making clean water dirty. And therefore, anytime you have clean water and you mess with it, maybe you put soil, you, should, you put some chemicals, that water becomes dirty and so therefore we say the water is contaminated and it's no longer safe for drinking. Good. Let's look at the pictures below. The picture below uh -huh, has a lot of things. The first thing we can see is a river. And in the river, what can you see? There are animals drinking water. Uh -huh. There is a boy. Ping, just next to the river. Imagine. Hey, also, there are women or ladies who are washing clothes next to the river. Remember, they are fetching water from the river. And at the same time, they are pouring the used water back to the river. And there is a lady who is fetching water. from. She's just from this home. And now because she doesn't have water in the house, she has come to fetch water. Imagine sharing drinking water with a cow, sharing drinking water with water that is dirty because someone has peed around or next to the river. That way, that, those are ways that we make the water dirty or that those are, are some of the ways that we make water contaminated. And we say that that water is contaminated because it is no longer safe for drinking. So remember... You should not pee next to the river. You should not feed your cows or water your cows inside the river or next to the river. Because imagine cows are drinking and again they are also peeing and doing every other thing there. And other women washing. And there are other many things. Sometimes we have factories and industries that are built next to the river. And they, they, they direct their waste to the river. That water becomes contaminated. Good. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that we have learned. That doing these things can make the water dirty or can make the water contaminated. Doing these things can make the water dirty or can make the water contaminated. Number one, 
washing clothes in a river. It is not right. If you have to wash clothes, kindly fetch water, maybe from the river, do it at home, and then don't pour the water into the river. Number two, going for a long or short call near a river. A long or a short call. It is not right to pee or to do whatever you have to do next to the river because that waste will finally be drawn to the river. And imagine you taking water that someone has peed on. Number three, throwing papers in water. This water, remember, it's not only the water that is in the river we are talking about. We are also talking of water that is also in our home. The water that we have, in sto we have stored in. In the house, remember, we also learned about water storage in grade two when we started. And we said the water that is stored at home should be kept safe. We learn how it should be kept. So throwing papers in water, even at home, is also bad. Throwing soil in water also makes it dirty and the water becomes contaminated. Animals can also make water dirty like we have learned. Very good. Let's see uh, uh, in our next slide. Mm -hmm. So, what happens to this water? Or how can you know that this water is contaminated? For example, maybe you fetch that water from the river or you have this water at home that has been made dirty or it has been made contaminated. Remember, dirty water may not look dirty. It may look clear, but these are some of the things that you can know. You can have a glass with water, but it has... It is not as clear as it should be. So contaminated water has dirty color. Uh -huh. Kindly look at water carefully before using it, even if it's washing clothes, cooking, or whatever, because contaminated water has dirty color. It has bad smell. Yes, it has bad smell because it is not safe, and it also has dirt in it. When you look at it, either at the bottom, at the top, or at the bottom of a container, it has dirt in it. It is not good for drinking, and it can make us sick. Those are the points that we have learned about contaminated water, that it smells bad, it is not safe for drinking, it has dirt, and it smells bad. Good. Therefore, there goes our task. This is the task that I'm giving you. I want you to write just three ways how water becomes dirty. Write three ways how water becomes dirty. Or write three ways how water becomes contaminated, our new word today. And remember the water we are talking about, I emphasize, is not the only water found at, uh, in the river, but also the water we have stored in our houses. When you write that, you're good to go and we we'll revisit that during our next lesson. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being wonderful children and bye-bye.